that intro sound like a Monty Python skit? He stands for truth. He stands for justice. He stands for what is right. He is Mary Poppins. I'm just having some fun with myself. You know, we have to remember that, uh, <laughs> that we're just joking around here some of the time. In fact, the government is actually loving. Everything's fine with the economy. Hand in your guns. It's conservative. There's no problem with all the illegal aliens running wild everywhere. Let the police throw the book at you. Hey, million four hundred thousand kids being grabbed by uh, the government every year with no due process. The family courts aren't real courts. Total frauds. It's good. Giant prisons being built everywhere. CIA aircraft crashing all the time full of cocaine and heroin. The government caught shipping in drugs. It's good to have drugs be illegal when the government ships them in. Listen, everything's fine. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm joking when I say those stuff's bad. It's actually good. You know, I'm an extremist. I, I shouldn't be upset about what's happening in the nation. I, I really shouldn't. There, look. All right, I'm going to shut up now. Sometimes it just gets a little too serious. You know where you are, baby? You're in the jungle. You're going down. Ha ha. Kind of uh, like fiddling as the Titanic goes under here. All right. Look, I know we have loaded phone lines here. Uh, actually, during the break, I was watching Republican uh, Senator Richard Shelby talk about us going into a de possible depression on C-SPAN, uh, just the channel we have on here, and saying this is hundreds of times bigger than any bailout we've ever had, and, quote, the biggest challenge. This is only the start. We're just going down the slippery razor blade into the pool of alcohol right now. We're just starting down the water slide. And it could all stop if we just woke up to the New World Order, woke up to the corruption. But instead, it's just everywhere. Systemic corruption. The government is looting the economy the foreign banks are looting the economy, and we had better get angry about it and say no. Meanwhile, on the 9-11 front, the Intel Center uh, releases another 9-11 video of uh, al Qaeda celebrating the attacks of 9-11. Now, the Intel Center has released a bunch of fake videos. By fake, they take 8-, and 9-, and 7-year-old video and re-edit it and say it's new. And then the Intel Center's run by two, two former deputies of Donald Rumsfeld, two former CIA uh, psychological warfare experts. Oh, psychological warfare division heads uh, run the Intel Center, who was caught by a uh, Wired Magazine uh, video expert and others. And we've done this ourselves because we have a lot of video editing equipment. We blow it up uh, on the big screen with the computers. You can see a video was laid down in the same uh, compression rate in the same video layer. Because when you lay a new graphic in, it will be at, you know, at a higher resolution. Uh, it gets complex, but I have those people. The point is it would take 30 minutes to, to describe the compression rates, the video rates, the rest of it. But the Intel Center loads their logo in with the Al-Qaeda logo. <laughs> I mean, how dumb do they think we are? God, these people are incredible. <laughs> we even said that years before it came out in the news. But, I mean, come on, guys. You're so lazy you don't run the video through a couple more layers of D-Res to then lay your Intel Center logo over the Al-Qaeda stuff. You understand, crew members? Well, you work at a TV station. You should, Paul. They're, they're loading the video in when they put their Al-Qaeda graphics up. <laughs> and they've got white guys from the U.S. hooked in with intelligence agencies dressed up like Arabs, and they go, well, yes, he d Adam Gadon does come from a family of a U.S. intelligence and Israeli intelligence, but now he's decided to join Al-Qaeda. <laughs> Put out videos from the Intel Center in the same video layer. <laughs> oh, my God, we're in deep trouble, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, this country is in red-level emergency. I try to joke about it, but it's not funny. Ha! Ah! Let's take phone calls here. Uh, you're right. I shouldn't be upset that the government puts out fake Al-Qaeda videos to scare the sheep. It's, it's, it's no big deal, actually. Al-Qaeda really did attack us on 9-11. The, the official story is true. Uh, just the government just puts out fake videos of Al-Qaeda. But, but the government likes you. Again, I'm, you know, everything's fine. Uh, Ray, 
then uh, Jonathan, then Forrest. But, uh, Ray, you're on the air right now. Go ahead. Hi, Alex. I just want to thank you for your courage and the courage of your family to speak the truth out to us. Um, I would just like to make a few comments. Um, I just have an old-fashioned education. I didn't get to go to college. Or That's called an like Al-Qaeda that. education. You're an enemy of America, huh? That could be. You don't want to hand your guns in. That's what all Al-Qaeda say. But I, I just wanted to say that even with my old-fashioned education, I, I have been able to see for years that we're just being fed inundation of lies and insanity. Oh, there's like no propaganda. Say. The government admits they buy tens of billions of fake newscasts and buy reporters off. That's completely normal. That's freedom. Well, isn't that sad? It's, it's admitted they buy just thousands of reporters, fake news. Well, I, I just wanted to say that as a Christian, the Bible does say that in the last days, many would love and believe lies instead of the truth. Yes. And I would just like to say, I think it's because basically people, it's, it's so psychologically scary to admit that you've been following lies all your life as far as the government and education and everything. If, if, if you don't look into it yourself, if, if you don't listen to people who have alternative views like you and you just believe the people on the TV, it is, it is scary. It's like the Matrix. You have to take the right pill to get the right information and most people just are too afraid to do it. No, I totally agree with you and I appreciate your call and a lot of times I feel dirty I feel like bad even though I have all the documents and the proof I still feel bad having to wreck people's little Alice in Wonderland imaginary world you know having to wreck their little uh, little tea party but I have to do it I mean I was sitting around the table with family this weekend they're like nobody and it's this other other side of the family was visiting None of us in the family ever had diabetes, and we don't even eat that much sugar, but everybody's getting it. And then one of them started talking about, I need to go get my flu shot. And I go, well, there's hundreds of studies, British Medical Journal, you name it, that the, that the vaccines cause uh, pancreatitis and other problems, but uh, cause other glands and organs to flare up and have um, you know, massive inflammation. And, 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 and they've known since the 70s that's what's increasing diabetes. And they just didn't want to hear it. So, okay, hey, keep shooting up, baby, and we're going to die. Yeah. Just roll them sleeves up and just jam them needles in all the way up to the, all the, way up to the brim and just shoot that mercury right in there. Just, oh, no, you're like, well, there ain't no mercury in there. They took it out. No, they didn't. They increased it. They increased the mercury and the flu shots and a bunch of other ones. And if you don't want to check it into it, fine, don't. Okay, I mean, look, that's a fact. It's a fact, and you can't weasel out of it. And I told you the HPV shot had already killed a bunch of women in the trials, so women run out and give it to their daughters, and they're dropping dead all over the place and having autoimmune diseases and blood pouring out of them, their ears, their eyes, their noses, everywhere else. And mommy then freaks out about it and tries to sue and finds out that they went and got federal liability protection before they rolled that stuff out. Because they knew good and well what it did during the trials. Okay? And you go ahead and you just roll your sleeves up. You think there's only cancer viruses in the polio shots and, and the oral polio? No. No, I happen to actually read the vaccine reports. You could do it too, but it's much easier just to call me a nut. Imagine what it's like to spend 15 plus hours a day studying this and knowing they're killing us and knowing it's a eugenics operation and knowing it isn't going to stop it's just going to get worse and worse and worse and cops are going to laugh and roll their baby sleeve up and shoot that baby up and have a convulsion right on them and be retarded for the rest of their lives and the cop mommy and daddy just dance around Woo! yeah Woo! we love lies we love hurting our families we're going to keep buying into the lies even more we love being ignorant idiots why don't you exercise your right to be informed and find out I'm telling you the truth? Ah, we'll be right back! 